Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental L Tutoring. Let's talk about oral pathology for a second, and I do have a textbook here. So oral pathology. So a common question is, what oral pathology do you have to know for the board exam? So I'm talking for the Canadian dental um, hygiene exam and the American one, okay? So this actually works for both. Now, there's actually more oral pathology on, on, on the Canadian one, typically, so you do have to know oral pathology. Now, if you're thinking, okay, now this is an older textbook, but if you're thinking, okay, I don't want to have to read through this whole textbook, okay? I don't have time for that. I don't want to. Again, I don't have time for that. So if you're thinking that, then you need to come study with me, okay? Be a Dental L member because you don't have to look through a textbook ever again because I have done all the hard work for you. So how being a member works is I take every single textbook, literally every single textbook, chapter by chapter, and I put what you have to know, only what you have to know, nothing more, nothing less inside the Dental L membership login area. So I have PowerPoints, I have slides, I have images on oral pathology. In fact, in about two weeks, we are doing a live um, tutoring session online on oral pathology. So how it will work is I have slides up for them showing a picture only. So let me just find a picture. So I might show a picture like this and say, what do you see? What's the first thing you see? You might see a lot of things, but you have to think for the board exam. Think, well, what's the most obvious? This one right here. Think, what's the most obvious um, when you're looking at that patient? What would you see? Um, what would you start talking about immediately? Um, so all of that. So I'll have multiple choice questions. So the answer here is erosion. That's the first thing you see. You might have been thinking, well, I see amalgam fillings. Is that oral pathology? Not really. If the question said something like, um, your patient had fillings done two weeks ago and they've come in in pain, um, what are you paying attention to? You know, what are you noticing? What are you looking for? Well, if the patient specifically said fillings, then you're probably looking at the amalgams. But if they're talking more oral pathology, such as if they have a, have a picture like this, and all they say is, what do you see? You need to think the obvious, and you need to think oral pathology. Don't think the tiny things like, oh, I see amalgam fillings. I see, um, you know, they're missing a premolar. Actually, no, they're not, but the, the um, teeth are so... Um, poorly worn down that it kind of looks like they're missing a premolar, but they're not. So I teach everybody how to look at oral pathology images, and I teach you what you have to see for the board exam. So I will have lots of images, like there's about 200 slides, I believe, maybe even more, of just images, and, and I say, what do you see? Okay, um, okay, so it's pretty exciting, at least I think it's exciting, and that way you don't have to look through this whole textbook, because this would take you at least three hours a day for, I don't know, three months. Instead, become a Dental L member, study live with me for an hour or two at the most, and you don't have to look at this at all, you know, throw it away. I mean, don't throw it away because these things are expensive, but you don't have to look through it, okay? So that's the nice thing about being, I guess, with, with me, is that you don't have to read another textbook again because you have done that enough, right? You've done that enough in school. You probably don't want to read another textbook. I'm assuming, probably not. Um, so study with me and you don't have to study with me and ask questions, ask lots of questions. I love questions 
And after an hour to two hours studying with me, you go, oh, oral pathology is not as hard as I thought because I'm not teaching you this whole thing. You don't have to know the whole thing. I'm teaching you what you have to know for the Canadian and the American board exams, okay? I have a 99, actually 0.4 now. So 99.4 success rate helping students pass. So I know what I'm doing past the first time. Um, if you've taken the board exam before, that's okay. But now's the time to pass, okay? Don't think, okay. I'll study on my own. If I don't pass, then I'll talk to Andrea. Don't think that because that happens. But then you are so like, okay, I can't imagine having to study anymore. Now I'm stressed out because I've failed and I have to make sure that I pass. Plus you have to spend more money to take the board exam again. You have to spend money on a tutoring program, you know, so don't waste the money. Do it the first time so you pass. So you don't have to waste any money and you don't have to have to um, study anymore. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know and I will see you guys inside for some oral pathology teaching. See you later.